Hello YouTube, it's Chris Wazo Briars. Um, second attempt at the video, I ran out of space, memory uh, on my phone, so let's have another go. So um, it's just a video really to explain sort of my my sort of absence from posting on so social media. Um, I, I, it's two reasons really, um, and I got some pipes to show you and and talk about some other stuff as well. But but just to kick off, I um. I'm uh, I'm currently developing a website which I hope to launch in October or November at the latest and so obviously I need some stock for the website so I haven't been posting pictures of pipes um, because I'm trying to make some that I can put up on there I'm also making pipes for the pipe show in the UK in October so it's kind of counterproductive Whichever way I I go, it's sort of I'm damned if I'm doing, I'm damned if I don't. But I think it's the lesser of two evils to disappear a little bit now, rather than when I want to push the business um, later on in the year. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I have your understanding for that. But uh, yeah, it's why I've not been putting pictures on Instagram. It's why I've not been putting up pictures on Facebook. I've been working feverishly um, for the last uh, sort of eight weeks. Um, um, so I'll show you pipes on here, um, they're not available, but if you see anything you like, I've kind of got my head above water with what I'm trying to achieve now, so um, I'm, I'm quite happy to take sort of a commission on something that you see in this, um, uh, in this video, if, you, if, if you're so interested. But um, more, more than anything else, it's just sort of to check in with everybody and, and sort of um, talk about what I've been doing. So uh, I've got a couple of hours now, um, and then I'm out the door. I'm going to St. Claude to um, be, uh, what's the word? Well, I'm joining the, the big sort of uh, French pipe club, which is the Confrérie de Maitre Pipier in St. Claude. So I'm, I'm being inducted, that's the word, into that this evening, around sort of six o'clock this evening which is super exciting. Um, you can't just join, you have to be um, put forward by a current member, and uh, Bruno Nuttins, who's a good friend of mine, uh, is uh, has put me forward for it, so uh, that's kind of cool. Um, so he's gonna be there, uh, Tom Eltang and his wife Pia, who I've not met Pia before, are gonna be there as well apparently, so um, I'm sure we'll all sort of get together and have a, a few beers after the meal um, and probably before the event. So uh, yeah, really nice uh, weekend to look forward to. I feel very fortunate. Uh, the hotels are all booked out. So um, I've got an Airbnb uh, with a chap called Carl, who's a nice guy I've met once before. Um, and we, we said, oh, we'll book two nights so we can have a, a proper weekend. Um, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's good. Um, I have kind of um, cocked up with my tobacco lately. Uh, I uh, I got given this by by Bruno, and it's the Marl blend, and it's it, it's obviously got the same casing as the um, or topping as the uh, as the regular Condor, but it it's it's much less apparent. So I <laughs> I sort of been puffing away of it in a number of pipes, and uh, went onto something else and realised that I've ghosted uh, about four of my pipes. So. Um, some uh, pipe cleaning to do when I get back after the weekend, I think. And then another thing, which isn't my fault, I cracked a tin of this uh, yesterday. Uh, it's my last one, and it's the um, copper-coloured tins, or brass-coloured tins, whatever you would say. Uh, and I cracked it open, it's from 2019, and I thought, oh, I thought my taste buds had been ruined by the Condor, but it, it's not, it's... It's just not full Virginia flake in the tin. It's um, it's their dark flake. It might even be the scented dark flake, which is which is um, one of the two tobaccos that they produce that I really detest. <laughs> the other one is the um, the navy flake. I I can't get on with the um, the pressed Latakia in that. I love Latakia, but but that one it's kind of goes sweaty sock on you. I, I'm not sure if it's the Latakia or the or the or if there's burly in there or something that just. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, that's in a jar. I'll probably give it to somebody. I don't know what to do with that. 
rancid. So that was a big disappointment. Um, anyway, so I, these aren't all the pipes I've made. These are just the ones that I've got sort of sitting on the kitchen table at the minute at various stages. Um, so I'll, I think I'll go sort of back to front so you can see where I'm at. Um, so least interesting because least far finished is uh, this guy here. He's going to be a sort of a um, Danish style Dublin with a sort of a thick stem, slightly bent, about that long. Uh, I've made one before uh, for my mate Eddie. Um, and then I have some horns, so I thought I'd do some horn stemmed pipes, but the 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 sort of the rod size is short blanks, so I couldn't decide what to do with those, which is why I've been hanging on to them for a while. Um, but now I've got my head above water, I've had a little sort of play around. And um, I thought, well, I'll, I'll make some canted pipes with some longer shanks so that it suits the stem size, so for, sort of for elegance. So uh, this one's going to be a horn with a horn stem. And plateau. Um, that the he's the most canted one that I've made, um, and I've never made a horn before, so I thought, yeah, well, it could be fun. I think I'm I'm on track. I haven't I haven't ruined it yet. Um, and then I sort of did a little apple, a billiard, and a cutty. So there's the apple. This is what I've been working on um, yesterday. Billiard. I, I went the other way with the um, with the bevel on that one. I thought just for a change and cutty. I don't particularly like uh, the little uh, foot on that you see on some people's cutties. It's just not my taste. It's not that it's not interesting or anything. I just um, yeah, not for me. Um, those hail back from. Um, when the clay pipes were getting too hot and people had to hold on to something. But for me, I like uh, I like the, the count of a cutty, but I also like the simplicity of the shape. Meh. Um, what else? The little nose warmer Rhodesian that I'm working on. So he's a long way off. Uh, I've just started fitting the stem for him. And then uh, major workshop cock up of the week was uh, my second go on a uh, Eskimo and I was at the sort of the polishing stage before I stain and hit the wheel caught the wheel and uh, dropped it on the floor the pipe survived but the stem didn't so I've got to make another stem <laughs> slightly annoying but hey that's life um, what else then the next four um, that I've got on the go are almost ready for sandblasting uh, so I've got a Dublin, that's Eldritch resin, uh, mo uh, olive, but uh, only just flecks of olive in that. That's the bottom end of the stem. Uh, a bent billiard. With uh, mortar accents. Then a couple of um, filter pipes. Some nice ring grain on this one, that's why he's going for sandblast. Uh, so a poker, 9mm, and I love it, 9mm. I'm starting uh, to feel confident about these 9mm love it's that I make. Um, what's different about them is that this is 13 mils in diameter, and how I do it is with reversing the tenon. So the tenon supports the shank. Uh, I don't know if anyone else is doing that with nine mils. I don't think so. But it allows you to have a nine millimeter filter with a pipe that doesn't look like it's a nine millimeter filter. I'm kind of proud of that. <laughs> um, this one's a commission. I've got to put a bend in the stem. Uh, again, nine milli, reverse tenon. So I can do it on bent pipes as well. And as long as the stem's long enough, I can do a taper. Because obviously there's more um, sort of drilling going on inside the stem. 
so that's kind of fun. And then I've got five sort of just about finished ones. I've just put the bowl coating on them while I've been um, prattling about this morning. So I've got a couple of Dublins. You will notice that Bruno has taught me how to get a decent shine on my pipes. Look at that. That's a level up for me. Um, thank you, Bruno. <laughs> so these have got bowl coatings. Just drying. Uh, this one here. So that was the, sorry, that's the Teal Abyss stem from Eldritch. And this is his Red Cumberland, Dublin. Again, so I've now got, I've got four Dublins to take to the pipe show. They're probably my best selling pipes, so I think that made sense. Um, yeah, uh, four, four, yeah. And then I've made a couple of uh, Danish style eggs with olive accents. Love doing these. Uh, one of my new favourite shapes that I make now. Need to put a bit more of a stem uh, bend in that stem, but uh, other than that, it's finished. Not much, just a little touch more. And then the bigger one of the two. I can't believe. <laughs> this is not self gratification. I just uh, you don't know what you don't know, right? And. Uh, Bruno showed me a trick and they are so much more shiny now. It's brilliant. Thank you, Bruno. Thank you, Bruno. And it's got those guys and you may have seen one of the few posts that I've done um, recently on Facebook and Instagram was an asymmetrical Rhodesian that I did for a guy called Ian in, um, I did a video on this as well. I snuck a video in. Um, and told him not to watch it because he wanted it to be a surprise. Uh, so the asymmetrical stuff anyway, uh, I've taken a shine to. So I've done and completed an asymmetrical egg, which I'm going to take to the pipe show as well. And look at that, hopefully. That's got some mega bird's eye, that piece of briar. That's a beautiful block of wood, that. Nice bit of straight grain, a little bit of bird sign there on the top as well. Well, it's everywhere on the shank. Asymmetry is fun. It's fun to do, it's challenging. Getting the lines right, or what I think is right, is a challenge as well. So, uh, yeah. Lots of fun to be had doing those, I think. And that's the Amber Flame Eldritch. <laughs> there you go. So that's me. Uh, bit of an overwhelming quantity of pipes, probably, for one video. But uh, uh, you can see I've been busy um, and loving every minute of it. I also had that week at Bruno's um, working with him. Uh, trying to nail some stuff down, which is where I've learned my new tricks as well. Um, so really productive uh, break from the kitchen and getting into the thing that I really love doing a bit more. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy your weekends. Again, sorry for the lack of posts. I will endeavour to ramp things up a little bit now that um, I feel like I'm getting on top of things. So yeah. And uh, I'm going to finish my coffee and start loading up the car. So everyone have a great weekend, like I said, and uh, I'll be back in touch soon. All the best. Thank you.